You guys, what's up? What it do? I'm back. Welcome back to another video. It feels like a year since I've said what's up and welcome back to my channel. Uh, but in reality, I think it was only like four to five days. Hope you guys are having an incredible week. Thank you for tuning in for this week's video. We're just being really casual today. We're doing a little tea time, kind of get to know me. I'm answering a bunch of your questions from Snapchat. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys really quickly this past weekend. I did take like a four-ish day break from all of my social media and from YouTube. My son Christian turned five and the party was honestly so much better than I could have ever even imagined. Um, it was kind of poor planning on my part, if I'm being like real honest. Um, I kind of threw a lot of things together last minute, but pretty much everyone I invited ended up showing up and being present for Christian and he felt so much love this weekend. The party just ended up being amazing. I wanted to just thank everyone for taking time to come and just celebrate my son's life. Like that's never required. So the fact that people, you know, would take that time and come do that really meant so much to me. And I could just see how much fun Christian was having and how excited he was that all his friends were there. So many of you guys Snapchatted me or sent me a message on Instagram letting me know happy birthday to Christian. And I just wanted to thank you because I wasn't able to write all of you back. Um, but we had such an incredible weekend and I wanted to thank you guys for just giving me that little break, not making me feel obligated to pick up the phone every second because it's always a trade-off, right? Because I choose to put my life out there with YouTube and I want to share the bad moments, the sad, the good, the happy, the amazing, like anything that happens, I've pretty much just like decided to document my life for you guys. So especially on something so monumental as Christian's birthday, I kind of wish I would have hired a videographer um, because I myself didn't want to like pick up the phone every second. And I wanted to make sure all the guests who came and took time, I was able to give them all of my attention and really just focus on Christian. Um, but you guys were so patient with me. And I told you guys, just, you know, give me a few days of a break and then I'll be back to YouTube. And you guys were like, girl, take your time, like enjoy your son. So thank you so much for letting me have that. But yeah, his birthday was absolutely incredible. I cannot believe I'm the mom of a five-year-old. I don't know. It just seems like time, moms out there, you feel me? Like it seems like time flies by so fast. And just the fact that Christian is healthy and most of his health issues have really subsided with his ears, his surgery and his lungs and everything. I am so incredibly grateful that he's just 100% healthy and that his body party was just such a big success. So anywho, like I said, I just wanted to come back with a real casual video today. I see you guys in the requests for another girl boss video. It's coming and I'm also continuing my shred fitness series. So make sure you're subscribed down below to just be notified of everything. Let's go ahead and hop into my Snapchat and I'll pull up whatever questions you guys wanted to know for this week's tea time. Also, if you're new here on um, my very first tea time, I go over all the basics, my age, my job, why I'm a single mom, what happened to Christian's dad, all the real juicy stuff that you probably want to know if you're new is all in tea time episode one so i'll also link that down below all right samantha said hey boo random question but do you have blonde highlights in your hair uh no this is a question i get so much on snapchat i have gray hair a lot of it do not ask me why lord bless me with gray hair at 27 um i think ever since i had christian my main primary doctor told me that the hormones just affect everyone differently and i started getting gray hair yeah about five years ago now when i had christian it's got progressively worse so it's all pretty bad right up here usually like once a month i will dye it uh, but some of you guys actually thought that was like the main root color of my original hair but no my hair has just always been dark brown i re-dye it the same dark brown color it's called 5nb if you're curious, it's from, not Sally's, Salon Centric, um, which is like a gel color. But yeah, I do have to re-dye it like every four to six weeks because, you know, this mama got grays. So another Snapchat question I got um, from multiple people was, do I keep in touch with any of my exes? Um, as you guys know, I haven't really dated too many people. I was with my son's dad on and off for five years and then only ever two people after that. Um, one of them, yeah, I do keep in touch with him. He's really sweet. He has a daughter and my son and his daughter are really good friends. So I see them like all the time. Um, but this one other person who I dated about three years ago actually just got remarried yesterday. I'm not sure if it was exactly yesterday or if yesterday is just when it, uh, when they were like sharing the posts on Facebook or whatever, because I don't usually go on Facebook. You see what happened was, okay. I don't usually go on, what the hell is that? I don't usually go on Facebook. It's not my favorite type of social media. I just kind of have it to connect with like old friends and Whatever, I basically still have one, but I'm never on there. But I randomly logged on yesterday because I wanted to post a picture of Christian's birthday party and for my family who couldn't make it, I was like, let me just log on Facebook, whatever. And the minute I log on Facebook, it says, do you want to write on so-and-so's timeline, say congratulations, 
Uh, blank just got married to blank. And apparently I'm still friends with this person on Facebook. I probably shouldn't be because I don't give a shit what he's doing. Nothing really ended badly, but I just don't care. I guess I never just removed him as a friend. Um, but the minute I logged on Facebook, it was so random because it was also my son's birthday, like just random coincidence, I guess. All these balloons started like popping up from the bottom of Facebook when it tells you there's like a big event in someone's life. And sure enough, there was a picture of him there with the new girl he married, I guess. So... I don't know. Whenever I was dating him, I wasn't for too long. We dated maybe like six to eight months. I just remember him always telling me he never wanted to get married. So I don't know. I guess this girl changed his mind or like, I don't think they've been dating for very long. Um, they, I think they got married pretty quickly, but again, I really don't care. Nothing ended like too badly with him. It was just one of those things where it didn't work out. I didn't see it being like long term. Um, but I don't know. It was just really random that I seen the message that he got married the day that it was my son's birthday. I don't know. And then I was like, why do I still have his ass on Facebook? But yeah, anywho, also kind of an extension of that question. A lot of you guys asked on Snapchat for this video if I'm currently dating anyone. And no, uh, you know, not yet. Still, uh, your girl's still waiting. But you know what's so crazy? I have this total gut feeling and intuition that I'm going to meet someone really, really soon. I don't know what it is. It's just like this deep feeling in my core that I am at the point where I'm so ready for a relationship. And I talked about this, I think, in my last, like, tea time, or my last Q&A, or, or on social media, or something. I'm having, like, deja vu right now. Um, but I really feel, you guys know, the, the man that I'm manifesting, my next relationship is going to be my last one. And that's that. It is going to be my soulmate. I've been through two really, really intense heartbreaks. So right now, I'm just so, so strict on what I want, and what I know I deserve, and what I really, really want for Christian. And I will not date any anyone, or, like, even say yes to a date or anything, unless I truly think there's potential there or that I could date you long term. I know that might sound like bratty or something, but like I just know so strictly what I want and it's not like I want all these things from someone and I'm not willing to give that back. No, like I'm at a place in my life where I feel so, so good mentally. I know a lot of you on social media lately have DM'd me and you're like, girl, you look so happy lately. And I truly am, you guys. Like I am being really, really strict. I think a big part of it is I'm being really strict on my fitness right now. I'm doing a 12 week cut. I've been eating a lot healthier, have a lot of mental clarity lately. And I just really feel that I've matured up so much within, I would say this, this last year, I've matured up so much as a woman and as a mother and getting to that place where I truly love myself and I realize the qualities that I have and what I have to give in a relationship. So yes, I'm looking for someone who is honest and mature and responsible and who makes me laugh and makes me feel attractive and is so, so amazing to Christian. And I'm willing and so ready to give all those qualities back to someone else. Like, if you're gonna date me, like, be prepared to be so, so happy. Like, I am ready to encourage someone on their goals and their dreams and be a support system. Like, I just feel at this place in my life, I'm so ready for that type of mature, incredible, amazing, loving relationship. And I don't know, like lately I've just been falling asleep. You guys know I practice gratitude so much and I've just been saying out loud, thank you for my husband. Thank you for my husband. I know he's coming. I know he's on the way as we speak. And I truly believe that I'm manifesting him and he's manifesting me. And when the time is right, we're going to meet. And I'm just really trying to practice being grateful for him before he even enters my life. And I'm trying to do things on a daily basis that make me feel so much love and so much happiness. So because they say you have to feel the emotions of what you want before it actually comes into your life. So I've really just been trying to practice so much self-love and also just giving so much love to my son and being the type of woman and girlfriend and wife that I want to be so that I can attract that right man into my life. Um, again, I know that was like a real long tangent on that one question, but yeah, for whatever reason, I just have like this gut intuition that I'm going to meet someone really, really soon. And honestly, like, I just can't wait. All right. Next question comes from Sammy043. She said, Hey mama, love you and little man so much. Love you too, girl. Any more information or updates as to when your Girl Boss Academy courses will be launching? Yes. I'm, wow. That was real intense. I'm real excited. Um, I'm super excited to let you guys know. I already talked about this on Snapchat, but as of February 1st, you will finally be able to enroll in my Girl Boss Academy courses. I'm having an Instagram masterclass and a YouTube masterclass where I teach you every single thing I have learned on both platforms of how to grow an engaged audience, how to maximize your revenue, utilize Instagram story, 
literally everything like my YouTube masterclass I go over from ground zero if you're starting YouTube and you have no idea how to set up your channel make a channel banner tag your videos make your thumbnails grow your audience do collaborations create rate packages create media kits find no copyright or copyright free music like I teach you everything the masterclass is basically me sharing with you all of my secrets and inside information kind of that I have paid thousands of dollars myself to learn from you know my mentors and just stuff that I've personally learned because I've been doing social media now for four years. So every single thing that I've learned to grow my personal following on Instagram and on YouTube, I'm teaching you guys. I mean, you guys already know this. I've talked about my Girl Boss Academy courses um, multiple times and I said I was gonna be launching soon, but I didn't say exactly when. So I've been working on this stuff for about six months. This is the biggest project I've been working on and that I'm so passionate about like watching other women grow up their business and getting to share their passion and their mission with a bigger audience is 100% my passion and I have realized that. Anytime I get a message from you guys on Instagram or on email that one of my girl boss um, videos on my boss babe playlist here on YouTube has helped you to expand your mindset or go for your goals or go for your dreams is honestly the most fulfilling thing for me and I have 100% realized that this is my calling, helping other boss babes out there to grow up their tribe and like I said, really get their passion out to the world. So everything I've been working on for these courses, it's so incredibly exciting to see it like come to life and to have an official launch date. My new website is looking Looking incredible like it just gets me so excited I can't wait for you guys to see it it's gonna be so amazing so you're gonna be able to purchase the Instagram masterclass separately or you're gonna be able to purchase the YouTube masterclass or you can purchase them both for a discount we'll also have Facebook groups where I will have live office hours so if you guys get stumped on any of the courses or you get stuck or you need help on something I'm actually in the Facebook group multiple times a week live answering your guys's questions and you have access to me which is really really cool um, I'm taking this extremely seriously that's actually gonna be like my main job even above YouTube starting in February. I'm still going to be doing YouTube videos, of course, but that's really going to take precedence because that is what I have just like poured my heart into. And I'm so, I want to give you guys the amount of attention and energy and love that you deserve. So you're able to grow your own following. So that was a really long answer to that question. It's obviously I could just go on and on about it because I'm so passionate about it. Um, so please just make sure that you're signed up for my email list. All of my email subscribers get the very first pick for enrollment. Um, you will get to sign up first. My email list sign up link is in the down bar. It's totally free. That way I'll just email you a few days before launch. You can be one of the first people to enroll and then be following my Instagram as well because I'm going to be doing Instagram lives um, leading up to February 1st here within this next week answering a bunch of your guys' questions if you don't know which course is right for you or if you just want to know like what the courses entail, I'll go on a full Instagram live like multiple times because as you can tell, I've been rambling forever now and there's still so much more information I want to give you because the courses are so detailed and I want to make sure if you're going to spend your hard earned money and you want to have that time with me to, you know, have that business partnership so I can help you grow your brand that you really know what you're getting. And I just want to make sure like you guys are getting so much value out of it. So just be sure you're signed up for my mailing list. But yes, um, February 1st, guys, like <laughs> I'm just what the hell is that? I don't know. I'm just really excited. A lot of you also want to know what type of music do I listen to in the gym. Uh, I've been doing a lot of hit cardio and heavy weight lifting lately, so I need music that's like real intense. I listen to a lot of like trap. <laughs> what was that face? And like hip hop and like real intense music. I'm like the definition of that meme that it's like, oh, a cute little white girl with like a hood playlist. It's really intense. I don't have Spotify. A lot of you asked if I would share my Spotify with you. If I make one, of course I'll share it. Um, but I don't have one right now. I just go on YouTube and I type in my favorite songs and then I just do space and then remix. And I just do a lot of like really, really intense, like fast songs, especially when I'm doing hit cardio or the stairs. I like to just be like really intense. Next, why do I keep looking at model homes? Am I buying a home soon? Um, so many of you know, I go look at model homes all the time. First of all, I've mentioned this before, but I truly believe that you have to see the vision of something before it happens. You have to go to it, be around it, be in it, go in there, sit in the couch, feel as if you already live there to attract that into your life. And um, I'm not just doing it all like for fun though. I really am going to buy a home this year. So I have been looking at like 20 plus model complexes in certain cities around my house and certain school districts for my son and really seeing where I could see us living. Um, and I've just toured so many homes that I love and got so many decor ideas. And I really like to just go constantly to keep myself super motivated to know that that's the next level of success that I want to reach and that I'm going to reach. And it keeps me so motivated to keep saving money 
and I just love touring model homes. I don't know, it's so fun for me, um, and I just know that I am going to buy a home this year, and it's just really exciting for me. Um, also, a lot of you were saying, like, the models I look at are so big, and, like, how am I going to afford that? They're so pricey. To be super honest with you guys, where I live is extremely cheap. Like, these kinds of houses, follow my social media because you'll see, like, what kind of houses I'm talking about. I film a lot of the time when I go in there. Um, these kind of houses in L.A., or any other area would be like 1.5 million or like 2 million or something crazy. But in this condo, I don't mind being like really upfront and like transparent with you guys about money. Uh, this condo costs me around 2,400, um, which is very, very pricey for a condo. And for this price, I could definitely just have a mortgage and have a home. So the houses out here are really, really cheap. You get a ton of house for a very, very small payment. So the dumbest thing you can do is pay someone else's mortgage, right? So I would rather own my own house, pay my own mortgage, and then if I wanna to move to LA to be closer for work or my YouTube keeps growing and I need to move up there, then I can just move and flip the house and make money. So either way, it's an incredible business deal and I've always wanted to be a homeowner very young and know that I saved up every penny of that on my own. And I was able to buy my son and I a house at this young age and like, not just any house, like an incredible house at that. So I have, and you guys know, I've been saving money for a house for like over four years. I've been so diligent on saving because I've always known that I wanted a home. So yeah, I'm just, I haven't decided on like an exact one. I thought I had one picked out, but then we toured a few other ones recently and I like fell in love. So just follow me on social media if you want to keep up to date with my house hunting journey. I would really appreciate it. And I'd love to share with you guys like what I'm finding and all the decor ideas. Oh my God, these houses are just like so beautiful. It's giving me so many ideas of how to decorate and like I don't know I'm just obsessed with seeing all the layouts um but yeah home hunting is super fun for my son and I and we go all the time okay my uh camera is saying I got three minutes left which means <coughs> I've probably been talking for like 30 minutes so let's cut this off thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it please subscribe be sure you give this video a like I know a bunch of you guys are not getting my videos lately or they're not in your notifications. There's nothing I can do. Like YouTube is nuts lately. I know so many creators are having this problem. So the only thing you can do for me, if you don't even have time to leave a comment or anything, I do not mind. Please just give the video a like. By you doing that, it just increases the chances of YouTube kind of spreading my channel out to more people or maybe throwing me up on the recommended side or something. Um, that would be so incredible, guys. I really appreciate it. You know, I put so much work into these videos for you because I love you and I take time to respond to pretty much all the comments even when there's like a ton I always try to stay connected with you guys so I just appreciate you watching so much taking time out of your day it's just I just said it's appreciated but then I was gonna say that again I say it in every video like you guys are incredible thank you so much for just taking time to be here follow my social media if you would like be sure that you're subscribed and I'll see y'all uh tomorrow I don't know what day I'll see y'all soon with a new video okay